Hello friends, this is Uds, according to a peer-reviewed study with no citations. And today we're doing the 50 wins in a row series, this time with a doctor, with whom we just got 50 wins in a row with uh, just a few hours ago. He's very happy about it, as you can say. Uh, it's the same rules as all of our previous episodes. We do no add-ons for the sake of consistency, no game-altering offerings so that we don't have an unfair advantage or we choose the map. And also, we're just going with our four perks and trying to get four kills. That's the main objective. If we get three kills and the last guy escapes with the hatch, that's also okay. But if survivors do all of the gens and even a single one of them escapes through the exit, that's our loss condition. And at that point, we lose and we go back to zero. Uh, that's basically the gist of it. And big shock. The doctor was the killer with whom I had the most disconnects uh, by far. Like, more than Spirit, more than Freddy, maybe more than every other killer put together. The average match had, like, almost like a disconnect in it. It, it was pretty crazy. Do I play Doctor disgustingly well? Not close. I still feel like I have a lot uh, to learn with. Um, I think much of the frustration that players feel when they play against Doctor comes down to the fact that they don't understand how his power works. Now, I understand other people dislike Doctor for other reasons as well, and that's totally valid. Uh, but if you don't know how the Doctor works, you will rarely play him well, and you will also not play against him very well. So I'm going to make a little effort. This is no Doctor guy, but I'm going to make a little effort to explain how his power work, how his power works so that you understand and you know how to play around it. So the Doctor inflicts madness. Uh, survivors start at madness level zero, uh, th when they're not afflicted by anything, and then they go to madness one, two, and three. And once you get to Madness 1, you can never go back to Madness 0. The Doctor applies this Madness through his two main powers. The Static Blast, which is a button that basically you press and your entire terror radius, all 32 meters or more or less, depending on perks and add-ons, will basically shock the survivors and make them screen and make them gain one point of Madness. So Survivor in Madness 0 will go to Madness 1, Survivor in Madness 1 will go to Madness 2, and so on. And then you've got the therapy shock, which you control directly, and you shock in a cone in front of you. And if you uh, hit a survivor with this cone, they will go up half a point in madness. So two shocks will go up one point, one blast will go up one point as well. Let's go over what happens. At madness zero, absolutely nothing happens. At madness one, survivors now have a one in three chance, 33% uh, roughly, uh, to have a reverse or randomly placed skill check on their screen, which can be pretty mean sometimes. It can make it difficult to miss skill checks. At Madness level 2, uh, this chance increases to 66%, 2 in 3 chances or so, for one of your skill checks from uh, repairing, healing, to be randomly or even reversed. Uh, you also sometimes periodically begin to see uh, Doctor Illusions. Uh, where doctors uh, will appear next to you to give you a little bit of a spook. Uh, which is not a huge deal, but it can sometimes scare you. Uh, at Madness level 3, uh, things start to get a bit more heated. You now basically have a 99, if not a 100% chance to get a reverse or a randomly placed skill check. You will scream interminately. If you're just not doing anything, you will constantly be screaming on and off. Um, and the illusions of the doctor that appear around you are actually be, uh, can actually be seen as auras by the doctor himself. So the doctor himself can see auras from afar and tell that you are near, uh, which can give them a lot of information if you're not careful. And it can make it very, very hard for you to stealth while the doctor's looking for you. Um, on top of this, survivors that are in Madness 3 are basically useless. There's a lot of things they cannot do. Uh, they cannot use their items, they cannot heal themselves or other people. They can heal themselves on the ground, but they cannot self-care or use a medkit. They cannot work on generators. They basically can't do anything. The only things they can do are unhooking other survivors, opening exit gates, and snapping out. Snapping out is an action where the survivor will uh, try to snap out of madness. It will take a little over 10 seconds. And if they hit the skill checks and do it w uh, without interruption, then they'll be reverted back to Madness Tier 1. And then you will be able to bring them back to Madness Tier 3 if you need to. So that's the cycle of Madness for Doctor. Understanding this cycle is very, very powerful as a Doctor. Especially uh, Madness Tier 1 and Tier 2, they don't do very much. But Madness Tier 3 makes a survivor basically useless 
for a little while, for 10 seconds at least if they start using, if they start snapping out, but potentially a lot more if you're there to pressure them. So putting survivors in Madness Tier 3 strategically and looking at the HUD to see what the Madness is at and and, and, and making the best decisions to put survivors in Madness Tier 3 as you need them to be can be very crippling because you can deny survivors from saving each other on the ground, you can deny them from using their item, there's a lot of strategy that comes into play. And all of this, by the way, is without add-ons. With add-ons, which we were not using, Madness Tier 2 and Madness Tier 3 become a lot more intimidating and a bunch of extra really spooky and powerful effects can happen. So that's basically how it works. Uh, the Static Blast will also make survivors... Actually, both the Static Blast and the Static Shock will make survivors scream, which will reveal their position, if you didn't know where they were already. And the Static Blast... Um, uh, forgive me. The Static Blast will affect any survivor that's not in the dying state, that's not in a locker, that's not in the hook, so obviously you cannot uh, use it on those. You need to be careful if you have many survivors that are in the hook, in a locker, maybe on the ground, use your Blast uh, sometimes can be a bad idea. Your Blast recovers every 60 seconds by default, but there are add-ons that can make it uh, come back quicker. Now, the Shock, the Therapy Shock has a very interesting property that most survivors sometimes don't seem to uh, fully grasp. When you shock a survivor with your therapy shock, they will be affected by a debuff for two and a half seconds that prevents them from doing any action at all. So a survivor that is shocked uh, by the therapy shock will not be able to dead heart for those two and a half seconds, will not be able to go for a rescue, will not be able to use his medkit in a clutch, will not be able to vault a pallet, will not be able to vault a window, will not be able to even drop a pallet, unless they already did it right before you shock them. And this is huge. This is what makes Doctor so good in his anti-looping. If you time your shocks well enough, and with practice you'll get there, you'll be able to shock survivors right before they make it to the pallet, right before they vault the window, and like this, you will be able to catch up and catch up and catch up and deny a lot of actions. And you can immediately tell how good a survivor is by seeing how well they play uh, around your your sh uh, your therapy shocks. If a survivor waits at a pallet and lets you shock them, and then you shock them, and you hit them immediately, that survivor is completely new. He doesn't know what to do against Doctor. That is a survivor you definitely want to chase. If instead the survivor baits it but then keeps running and total and when you shock him at a loop he keeps going and counter looping in the opposite direction, then that survivor knows exactly what he's doing and you probably don't want to pay as much attention to him. So using your therapy shocking chase to gauge and figure out the skill level of the survivor that you're chasing is huge. I did feel as a doctor that I was very very good at identifying which survivors were the weakest, and thanks to weird matchmaking, there's been plenty, and which ones were actually quite good. And if you go for the weak link in the chain, trust me, everyone else will follow. So that's something you should keep uh, in mind. And you'll see, you'll see what that looks like in some of the games that we're gonna showcase today. That's about it for explaining his power. Uh, as you can imagine, uh, the first time you put survivors from Madness 0 to Madness 1 with your blast is a great chance to snuff them out and 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 find out and, and bring them out of hiding at the start of the match. So as a result, Doctor has a really good early game. At the early game, you go to a corner of the map, you blast, you'll hear three survivors scream. And if they don't scream, you know that no one's there and then you can go to the opposite side, you'll most likely find someone there. So the early game on Doctor, phenomenal. And our build uh, complemented this very well. Uh, now, uh, let me preface this by saying that I don't even think this is the strongest build on Doctor, potentially. Uh, right now, with the meta of Ruin and Dying, bringing Ruin and Dying and, and some other complementary perks, like, say, I don't know, Sloppy Butcher, Surveillance, uh, Thrilling Tremors, like, you could have a really mean build that makes Ruin basically impossible to cleanse, because you will constantly see them and blast them and interrupt them doing totems. This, you could have probably an even meaner build, and if you were to use add-ons, you could, you could do so much more damage. Uh, but the build I used was tailored um, to a non-add-on playstyle, and it worked really, really well. It's the build I recommended some time ago in my good build video, and it still has, you know, it is still... Oh, uh, forgive me for that uh, offline noise. Uh, and it still has... Uh, 
has stood the test of time. It still works really well. Uh, the build consists of Discordance, Save the Best for Last, uh, Search, and Pop Goes the Weasel. Now, Discordance is great. It's my favorite part on Doctor to make sure that you know what you're doing. And it flows with the rest of perks really, really well. At the start of the match, if you see Discordance go on, and throughout the match, if you see Discordance go off, uh, you know that you can go there and you can blast and you'll hit multiple two, three, four survivors. Um, because this perk is telling you unequivocally that many survivors are on a generator. And that is wonderful. Really, really, really good. Also, with this cordons, you will find two, three, maybe all survivors. So you will constantly be finding non-obsessions. And that's what my strategy boiled down to in all 50 of these games. I completely ignore the obsession. I would put them in madness, I would slap them every now and then. But for the most part, I would ignore them. And that's where the, le the next perk comes in and does incredible things for you. Say the best for last reduces your cooldown for every hit. And it grows stronger and stronger the more you hit non-obsessions. And that thing on Doctor is incredibly powerful. You can shock a survivor, hit them, and they might still be in the in the effect of the shock by the time you recover at full stacks. So Doctor can do double hits on a survivor. If you shock them before a window, you can hit them. And if they try to wait to vault the window, you will grab them or hit them again mid-animation because you save the best for last recovery. Uh, even if you don't get lucky and get a double hit or a hit into a grab, you will still catch up to them very, very, very quickly. And they'll run out of pallets to, um, to give you uh, much faster if they don't, if they cannot just take a hit and go very, very far. Uh, so say the best for last is incredibly, incredibly strong. Um, as you can imagine, Doctor has a very strong unhooking game. If someone tries to unhook in front of you, you can shock them, that will deny them, you can hit them, and then they will shock again and you can grab them or hit them again. So with Say the Best for Last added into the mix, his close combat capabilities are, are phenomenally uh, amazing. And with your blast on top of this cordons, you will constantly be finding non-obsession survivors and you will be tunneling on and off those three survivors, completely ignoring the obsession and truly saving them for last. Um, so yeah, say the best for last, just honestly, just, you will see, it's just so damn good. Now the next two perks, um, uh, go with each other rather well, actually. Since you will be downing tons of people with, uh, with your M1 attacks, uh, Surge is incredible. These three perks, Surge, say the best for last, and Discordance, are out of, are what you're using most of the time. You will be constantly, uh, regressing generators. Uh, with search and stealing progress from them with search uh, Since you're using discordance to find uh, where survivors are gathering You will constantly be hitting multiple generators with it or hitting generators that have a lot of progress with it and bothering multiple survivors Which is it all flows so well together and The thing about search is that on a killer that can delay survivors with passively with his ability It's even better because if you hit a survivor uh, and then you put and, and you make a generator begin to regress and then you blast and the other survivors are in madness tier 3 and they need to wait to uh, To snap out and then get on a gen all of that little waiting time and all of that little stall Will translate into gens losing more and more and more progress and if they still uh, Try to get that generator done. That's when you hook a survivor activate pop goes the weasel and go there and pop that generator stealing even more progress uh, you can also put survivors in minus tier 3 if they have a gen that's nearly done and then take the time to hook a survivor then go there with pop and you will have time to deliver it before they finish it because again you are slowing them down with minus tier 3 uh, so if you try yourself you'll see that these perks work really really well in tandem and it was a wickedly strong build uh, that I think carried uh, quite a lot although arguably you could play an even easier to to uh, to use build with just ruin and dying if you want to go nuts with that but that was pretty much the build that was pretty much the strat as you will see um it often comes down to knowing some some uh, some smart uh ways to shock survivors you sometimes you want to shock them uh before they make it to a window and hit them sometimes you want to you want to wait for them to drop the pallet, shock them on the wrong side, and then corner them there. Uh, you need to have very good knowledge of ping, of how long your shock will last, and what survivors will often do. 
and adjust to the level of each survivor that you're chasing because all of them play differently. But most of them, as you'll see, did not really adjust and very few of them really, really understand Doctor to a point where they play really, really well. So yeah, uh, hopefully we don't have to play him much more because people seem very, very upset. And I'll let you see that in some of the games that we're going to see today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy them. Pekka is the impeccable Felix. Kalia is the Nancy Wheeler. Sir Giuliano is somehow cute. Uh, Yui. Casey David. Okay. Uh, sweat. Sweat a bit. Three brand new parts, map offering, obstacle obsession. I expect everything. Okay, no map offering. That's appreciated at least. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, star sweating. Oh, this golden squeeze helped me. Three toolboxes switched to last second. And what's the last item? I think uh, I'm very scared of not catching anyone here. Okay, I immediately saw someone. <laughs> Obsession is the lorry, not surprisingly. I think this will be two people. That was very generous of her. Why is she going left? Interesting. Oh, I'll get this down. Search will be huge. That hard, maybe? Yep, 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 that hard. Right. Just for a little second. Go through the window. Go through. Brand new parts, brand new parts, brand new parts. Take out this motherfuckers and we hit it with search. Ah, you don't got this anymore, fuckers. You missed the skill check. Fucking quack. That is a good medkit. Let's hook this girl in front and pop it. That missed skill check. They lost 20%. Missed skill check 10%. And another chunk from uh, search. I believe it's 10, right? Now? They buffed it from 8. And this Jen is still this done. Ooh, that's a huge relief. And we know the fourth person is in school. And she's got a brand new part or another toolbox herself. So that gen in the middle, I think, is going to pop. But not without, you know, a bit of a fight. Good shit. Oh, never mind. She's here. I told you, dude. This is the lorry for survivor. Not if I can fucking do something about this, dude. Gen rush this. I'm going to fake this. And I think there we go, dude. If I see it disappear, then I know. Oh, this search is gonna hurt your gen. Good shit. We hook her, we get another pop, we blast onto that house and we try to prevent that gen. Uh, the Scordon's there in two seconds. I wouldn't be surprised. One, two. Oh, they healed, they healed, they healed. Okay. Now I still see sparks. Awesome, dude. Let's just find them then. Good, 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 good. Oh, what are you doing here, homie? You better have balanced landing, dude. A good dead heart there would have helped. Let's pop that gen. Yes, we can. Oh, okay, dude. This is a very, very scary map, dude. Did you guys know that these maps have, like, the, like, these maps, like, bad hand ones, have some of the worst uh, kill rates for killer? So, people think it's Haddonfield these days, but no. It's apparently maps like this. All the buildings are super busted. You can watch my video where I break down the maps to know why exactly. That's a shame, but you did that for a pro you did that at a price. I feel very good. Another fork, and I think they're against the ropes. We got like what? How many hooks for this? Four hooks? I think four hooks on all of them. For one gen, I'll almost take it. Almost take it. And three stacks on me. I think we can win this. You have FAQ. Hi, Bag. You probably already know that, and you're just asking to torture me. But yes, I do. Please read it if you want to know more about me. If you, blast, if you shock them like that, they can't use that heart immediately. But if they have light or swimmers, they can use that, no problem. It's not like it activates, you know, after... So... Especially if you're chasing a Feng Min, and you see them vote like that, and you haven't seen them use that heart before, uh, hit them immediately, because if they have life, you'll lose your opportunity to hit them after a vault like that. I think that if she did have life, I might have missed it. Hello, don't worry, I'll be very pleasant. Than what you guys were to me. 
that surge didn't trigger. That means that Jen is at zero. All right, this girl is a mana steer too. She might miss her DS. Well, sorry, dude. Against the ropes. Two people that don't hook at four gems. Uh, that's uh, LOD and this girl. And this girl, if she had DS, yeah, she's missed it. Very few survivors save it. So, I think this hits maybe all three of them. Hold up. Uh, well, if we go for this girl now... Someone else has to go for this rescue. Mm, building? Is she going upstairs? Oh my god, you don't learn. Oh. <sighs> How can you save your DS? Let it go all the way and don't hit it. If you hit it, obviously you use it up, it's gone. If you miss it, it's also gone and you don't get the benefit, obviously. But if you let it go all the way without hitting it, it will actually show up a second time uh, if you have a second chance. Very bad idea, because who knows, maybe the killer will never uh, tunnel you and you'll never get to use it. If you have DS, don't save it unless you have a five, uh, five head, 300 IQ plan, right? But yep, yeah, you guys are in trouble. The obsession needs to go around, but they're injured. That person's dying in two seconds. Yeah, trouble. The obsession's here. They don't make it. They don't. Nope. Say the best for last. <laughs> GG, good. All right. Sometimes a combination of a good toolbox, a good medkit, is better than just three good toolboxes and trying to, you know, going crazy on the gems early. Oh, palace not there. You're in trouble, young woman. Oh, she didn't even bother going there. Okay, I'm gonna do a tech. That will blow your mind. Ha ha ha. Unlucky. But now she's trapped. That's for the one guy that was... That doesn't work anymore, Stargo. Last time I told you about it. Don't, don't do that unless you've already won the game. Or you're gonna look very, very silly because it's so hard to do. <laughs> Is that on every killer or just dog? Every killer can do it. Uh, if you're pig, her ambush makes it even easier, I think. And I don't think it works on demo, unintuitively. It doesn't work on demo. And maybe there's other killers that can do it with their powers. I haven't really tested it, but you can do it with them one. It's just really hard. Like, if you, like, honestly, if I go do it again, you'll probably see me, like, get dunked and fall into the hole. Is that 49? Uh, let's find out. Uh, no, this is 48. Close enough, dude. It's still pretty good. With Coup de Grasse? Maybe with Coup de Grasse it will be easier, but I don't think so, because Coup, Coup de Grasse makes you go further. It doesn't make you go faster. So, no, I don't think Coup de Grasse really would help. All right, what do you guys think before we go? Three brand new parts? Like, I, I'm gonna say no brand new parts, but three, like, uh, green toolboxes or purple toolboxes. Uh, okay, a bit of both. Two brand new parts. Uh, Comitus, which is arguably the best one. Uh, yeah, this is good. If they had approved this, they did. That's even better. GG, suit. You should show play it all. Sorry about the ranks. Oh no, dude. Sometimes it happens like this. We we don't have like a full lobby of like rank 15, but so it's like one red rank. Which this guy, you know, this guy maybe should be playing with me. And maybe if this guy is his best friend and they're in a... Okay, these two could be playing, but why are... I don't know what it's about. Thanks, bud. Okay. Ooh, this is a very good map for us, I think. Look, the spawns are so good. There's already, there's already a guy on that boat. Look, he's hanging from there. I'm coming for you, dude. I'm coming for you. Standing still, I can see him. We should catch at least six of them. <laughs> Told you, dude, the spawns in this map are something else. Uh, let's go for a sexy name, Kimura. Hey, that's an easy hit. Uh, Jen was making sounds. Let's go there. I'm going to start cutting them off from the left because that's where they're going to go. Don't hit the obsession, hit the Claudette. And her Kagebunji no jutsu. I'm actually okay leaving that Claudette because she doesn't have a medkit and she'll self care. But this one will be the person we commit to. And then no efficient medkit healing. Only slow, stinky self care. Yes, yes. I think she beats me to that window. Will she do it though? 
Uh, I don't think I could blast upwards. But here, though, I think she's out of... Oh, fuck me. Hi, morning. Okay, she honestly gave me a good fucking run for my money. That art? Not quite. Good stuff. No discordance, that gen has one person or no one, so we're gonna blast around and find out what's going on. Uh, Mother Ease. Uh, Mother Ease. Thank you so much for the prime. Welcome, dude. It's getting a bit hot in here. I'll take my jacket off in a minute. Or hoodie or... Sweater. This must be obsession. I'm not even against just ignoring her altogether. Get my stacks going. They'll be on this gen. Oh, or that one. Both, maybe? Oh, this guy's marks. Ooh, bleeding person. Good, 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 good. Call that. Come back. We're gonna search this gen with your buddy. I see that girl behind that bush. Um, she's going... I think... Okay, uh, I have a theory. Uh, Feng Min went... Went to... Went to go for the rescue, but it didn't happen because someone else had out of the gun. That someone else was the person that was on that gen. They let go of the generator to go for the rescue, that's when they got a skill check. And that's when we heard the skill check fail. That's why Feng came back... To this area... After leaving, because she had nothing to do anymore and she only has one gen she's worked on. So she's gonna be hiding here, probably. Do I want to hit her? Yeah, I'll hit her this time. So, just like that, we have a good idea of what everybody's doing. That's, pro that's probably what's happening. And those two guys are probably there, and I wouldn't be surprised if after doing that, they're healing. So, does that mean that because I know what they're doing, I can immediately stop them? No, but if I know what they're doing, they won't really catch me off guard anymore. So, I'm probably gonna come here and try to blast them both as they finish healing. They actually split up. Alright, cool. Uh, all right, dudes. I'm going back. This gen is in the middle of fucking nothing, dude. If you have BTL, still search it. I'm gonna search this thing. Where did this girl go? Oof, oof. Do I search it, though? Do I search it? Because this girl's got that heart. Use it, dude. Okay, perhaps not. Uh, now we have to worry about a decisive here. You know, you is around. Uh, you know what, dude? Fuck it. Keep me with it. It might have been a good idea to put her in Manus tier 2. Or tier 3. Before picking her up. Because then their skill check is harder. Manus tier 2 is 2 out of 3 chance that it will be reverse. And out on the screen. Alright, good stuff. We have given up something. But we have something in return. You can pull it the fair though. That was a good play by them. This gen is very advanced. I'll pretend to do this, I'll drop. Focus on the stacks. This obsession- this skill is not my obsession anymore. Okay, that was a horrible fucking idea, dude. If the basement's here, you guys are in some serious fucking trouble. They use an offering to make the basement appear here, which makes it all the more uh, ironic, doesn't it? Yeah, I was thinking about it. Oh, unlucky. Uh, I can now pop it. Search was on cooldown, so... Oh, never mind. Ooh, you're th you have the right idea. You have the right idea. You need to get the fuck away so they can go and rescue. Seven stacks to save them for last. I'm hooking and then coming back. If I bring her back, uh, I'm gonna see the rescue happen in front of me. The rescue's happening. You saw the hook switch uh, sides. All right then. No. I disagree. Got into a logger. The only thing you can do. Am I in the mood to eat another DS? Not quite. I'm totally fucking brutally honest with you. Oh, that's so fucking good, though. Hmm. Eat the DS, yes! Eat it! Oh, there's a prediction in the channel and you guys are fucking thirsty for it? Nah, dude. I'm not eating it. Until I've hooked someone else, now I'm eating it. Oh, or am I? Or am I? Mm -hmm. 
or I? Sorry, boys, but opportunities. Wait, wait, I forgot. Shit, am I gonna eat three DSs, dude? Surely not, right? Surely it's impossible. Unlucky for me, I guess. Okay, then. So we have Madness Tier 2, Madness Tier 2, and the girl that just DS me. If we blast them, they can do that jump for a little while. Okay, blast them coming back in a couple seconds. Yeah, you do that. Okay. You know what? I don't even need to go up there. Because... They can't do that. It's gonna be so sad. It's gonna be so very sad. You better have Hmm. We're hitting that with search every time we down someone. They really are committed to this, holy fuck. How can I stop it? It's very unfortunate. Uh, honestly, I think they all have fucking DSs and shit. And that this is bullshit, but... Oh well. Don't forget that that heart. I am, I am, you guys are in for a fucking world of pain. Fucking bastards. No, I don't like that. I don't like, I don't, I don't, no, 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 I'll wait the 15 seconds, dude. I'll take it. Yeah, you want me to hit you, don't you? Three, two, one. Okay, she's dead. Nice stacks, I'll take it. Oi. Must be in that corner somewhere. Hit these guys. Should have done this pallet. Oh, there's no pallet. I'll fake it. Unlucky dude. She hasn't hit me with the size of yet, has she? And I don't think you can. Book where? Uh, awkward ass book. Okay. They have a chance. They have a chance. That gen over there. Maybe they're on it. That gen's not moving. Oh, oh, that's not how you win this. Okay, we've slugged her before. What do you think will happen this time? Why are they healing there, of all places? How annoying, dude. How annoying. Thank you for that. Just in case she's got a styptic or something. Let's put her in minus tier 3. Were you the one with that heart out of the two? I don't remember. Bloody hell, dude. This building is awful. You need to learn how to deal with it. You need to break these walls here and there. You, you can't brute force it. I mean, you can, like, now, because she's the last one, you know? Well, that girl had unbreakable. If, if there was a Gen 99, you understand? That was a bad idea. I should have picked her up. Well, they get it. Oh! Did you? Oh. I think through the asses. One, two, three. We would have eaten all of them. We, like, all three of these people played around the DS and tried to make this unit. We would have eaten all three of them. <laughs> uh, I think that when I had those two girls down, I think they both had one. <laughs> I'm pretty sure, yeah. Because <laughs> it was, yeah, this was one of the Claudettes, so. Actually, yeah, this was one of the other Claudettes. Bomb and sexy. They both had it. Funny, funny how you can tunnel two people at once. Uh, GG's. Uh, three kill with Hatch. We continue. Torment Creek, alright. We got one of the two better maps. Uh, Spiteful, thank you for that, guys. Yeah, this is a lot.
easier to handle. Doesn't mean it's easy, but it's easier to handle than cow shirt, for sure. I think I'll go immediately. <laughs> and, uh, this is the ace. Can't tell where he went. No, I can't. Wow, he's fast. Rimbors, maybe. Damn, dude. He's, he's way off. Alright. Well, here's the family. Springbirds on one of them. Springbirds on all of them. <laughs> Dude, when do I catch up? When do I ever catch up? Are they sandbagging each other a bit? That was really good. Oh, that was really gritty though. They'll try to spin us now or something. Nope. Going smart, well done. No surge, that's concerning. I think we left all the survivors back there. Don't bother with basement, we're not gonna defend it. Hook him and try to sur uh, blast around. Oh! What's going on? Sorry, current vision. Oh, that was useful, actually. It's the other Dwight that I don't want to hit. That was very, very precise timing. Oh, dude, Sid was full just allowed us to catch up. Let's pop that gem real quick. Seems to have a little bit of progress. That one over there, I don't know if they all actually left. Okay, just trying to figure out. Uh, bad idea to do this, by the way, if there's a lot of flashlights to leave someone on the ground for a long time. What? Where did they go? Hello? I found them as they vaulted this, dude, didn't I? Okay, dude, I'm... Are they just silent on the ground? Oh, you fucking bet they are! Oh, that sucks. That's unfair. I disagree with that. What the fuck, dude? Don't get greedy now or you're gonna die. They're in trouble. Uh, Madness 2 on that guy. Madness 3 on this guy now. Okay. Now I shouldn't be, ge be getting greedy. Let's pick up this toy. He's a Madness 3, he can't heal anybody. He needs to snap out. So we got this one chance to pick up one of them and hope they don't have... The rest don't have Unbreakable. Where'd he go? Blood here? Still hasn't snapped out. He can only go for the... Alright then. Uh, I think it's safe to assume that... Meg doesn't have Unbreakable. You might have Unbreakable though. We'll pick you up first. Uh, they could also Kobe, so... Oh, that guy died. Never mind. Is there some... Yeah, there is a way to tell, uh, visually. Each tier of madness, I see that bird go up. This guy's crawling here. Let's get him first. I ah, said nothing. Let's get Meg first and she's completely silent and we'll never find her again if we lose her. Meg? Meg? Man, don't you love this stuff? You can lose games. Because you just don't find the survivor in time. Hi. Oh, I hear the other guy. Perfect. Convenient as hell. Uh, yeah. Um, okay, so the first survivor on the left, that's Madness Tier 1. The second survivor, that's Madness Tier 3. The third survivor, that's Madness Tier 2. The fourth survivor, that's Madness Tier nothing. That's it. That's all four of them. We got... We have them. Okay, stop. Oh, thank you. Illusory, illusory doctor. Show me. Why is make salad? It's a bug. It's not meant to happen. If you're on the ground, you're always meant to be doing this like soft moans that the killer can hear. If you have Iron Whale, that's great. It doesn't help. It, sh it does not affect that. If you have Calm Spirit, it doesn't change that. There's no perk in the game that affects that. Either positively on the killer side by making it louder, there's no perk. and Or negatively on the survivor side to make it quieter. So a survivor on the ground should always make sounds. Some of them are louder, some of them are quieter. Uh, you know, sometimes they go quiet for a little second, so sometimes it can be hard to find them, like the Dwight, but the Dwight made sounds. That girl making zero sounds, that's just a bug. 
And it's very nasty because sometimes you can have a Subaru in a little corner, they blend in really well and you're like, oh my god. If they have tenacity and they're crawling away, you'll never find them. And if they're close by and you're looking for them and they're far away, then you'll never catch them. And the other way around, if you look around and they're close, you're wasting a huge amount of time. And they've been recovering the whole time, so yeah. Okay, I'm very, 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 very happy to see this. If I see uh, four people on the switch last second and they have a map offering, oh dude, I assume the worst. Thank goodness, dude. These guys are switching last second to something. No fucking doubt about it. Okay, not what, not what I expected, but I mean, sure. C4, Sony. Okay. Can Dark Illusion spot survivors in Locker? Good question. I think so. Are we getting this now? <sighs> what the hell? Catching the main building? Okay. This is the 49th? The 48th. Which might as well be the 49th. Alright, dude, of all the maps we could have gotten, this might just be the most pleasant out of all of them. And we had a very small chance of getting this. We had like a, what, a 10% chance of getting this? I think so. So, hey, nice. Little surprise here, that's a good hill for them. I don't know if I want to chase these people. Is the obsession? Uh, the... Short hair Jake. Good to know. Oh, Dwight, what are you doing? It's a bad stuff for them. Mind the two flashlights. Keep an eye on them. Mind everything else too. Let's not lose the streak to something silly. I imagine. Oh, hey, what's up, dude? Checking the stream? Saying hi, mom, on YouTube? What's going on? What are we doing? Good job. It's working. Um, I probably want to deliver this pop. We should have seen. We should have known better. This is good though. Primbers on this go. Primbers, dude. Uh, Conrad, thank you so much for that. I'm very sorry. It's a long message. I'll get to that later if you remind me. Um, I, again, I don't want to make a big blunder here. I can see her step. Uh, Drake, I can come in, maybe? Oh, they know. They know. They left. Well done. Good bait, then. Time to leave her, I say. Or maybe chase her into the other guys. That gen could pop at any time. Good stuff. That hard? No, you're a spin burster. Right. Oof, that gen's gonna be lost. Have you played Dishonored? Never! I hear good things about the game, though. Yeah, that took a little bit too long. You got rid of no pallets. Uh, I don't think we saved this. I took a free hit, though. Or a free pop. Thank you. Where's the other guy? That shouldn't have happened. He can't vault back yet. Oh, uh, I don't know if I want to chase this guy. We haven't hooked him yet. I'd rather keep up with everybody else. See what they're doing. That girl never healed. She just did. Do I see them there healing? I don't. I wouldn't know, would I? That turns back to nothing. They're there. What are you doing, Dwight? Oh my lord, this is my guardian angel. This Dwight's gonna hand us victory if he keeps doing weird stuff like this. Don't forget their perks. We know two of the exhaustion ones they have yet. That was so early! They fucked up. Look at the ground, make sure you don't get double blinded. I don't know where she came from. I'll take it though. Is she bumping into anything? Nope. Alright. Second hook on this man. Big mistake, dude. DS? No DS. Oh, two people that don't hook a 5 gens. Good luck. I'm gonna go around the pallet before we get power, st you know, power struggled. What an easy grab. That can work, but maybe at the end of the game when the killer's looking at an exit gate with three survivors around you. If you're the only one, mm, maybe bad idea. Maybe bad idea. 
I'm gonna find out where the other guy is. Oh, come spirit! They know they're playing against the doctor. That's why I never saw the second one. Ah, that makes a lot more sense, dude. That makes a ton more sense. Okay, this guy's getting camped to death, I'm thinking. He's dying in 10 seconds if the other brave guy doesn't come around. Other brave guy's right here. Interrupted? Yep. What? Okay, dude. He couldn't even dead hard after that. <laughs> I'll take it. BT on the scale, that's why she's brave. No BT on the scale, she's fucking crazy then. Alright. <laughs> what? Snipe? I, I'm thinking so, maybe. Maybe they knew they were against the doctor. Then again, you know, it's Jay with calm spirit. Ah, he's just doing his fucking, uh... His fucking... <laughs> what's it called? <laughs> he's doing his adept. Of course. Uh, scratch marks. We should see them over here. Where's this... Where's this... Um... Honestly, I'm very keen on slugging you for a little while, dude. I think I think I can get away with it. I think I can get away with it. This guy's a minus tier 3. He needs to snap out. He was doing that just now. I can wait, use your Unbreak Wall, let down you again, and I get another stack. And then you never get to use your DS, which you clearly have and want to use. Oh, what do you know? This guy will help us out. Oh, you guys are in trouble. Unbreakable? I would have used it by now if she had it. That guy's trying to call it. That means they're not doing so hot. Alright, dude. Let's pick up Dwight before he does have Unbreakable. That's that guy, Kobe. Oh, lost them. Four chance. Nope, nothing. Uh, I'm, I'm curious to see what they brought. It might it might just be like a rank 19 lobby, and I might I might be like thinking they're all like crazy villain snipers, and maybe it's just, you know, four people messing around. Uh, we'll see. I'm, I'm ready for anything, dude. If I see three red ra four red ranks, I don't... Uh, obviously, that doesn't surprise us. If I see four... I generally don't even think this is... This is a... I don't know what's going on, honestly. <laughs> this is so all over the place. I don't know what I'm looking at. <laughs> Let me ask. Because the ranking, okay, like it's not crazy at all to have red rank, red rank, red rank, then one purple. That's totally, that totally happened. Even before we had a red rank who was, like, had a matching name with a, with a lower rank. Are they still here? Two of them are still here. And they're still in the chat. Just three. Which ones? What, is there a rank 16 here? Me, Pasha, and Sony. Oh, okay, so together is Naughty, right? Pasha and Sony. So these three guys are playing together. So, and obviously if you play together, as we said earlier, it, it takes the highest rank. It doesn't do the average. MMR, it will do the average. Right now, it takes the highest. So technically, we're playing with a rank 3 and a rank 7. According to the game. Well, I'll take it. Oh, sorry, I should have said. Thank you for telling me. All right, Pale Rose. Uh, not sure how I feel about this map. There are a few windows, few pallets. It's a good map for say the best for last, I think. We'll see. I almost always miss my first blast in this map because they are so close to the corners. Survivors often. Oh, there's five of them up there. I don't even, th dude. The way they're hiding, I don't even think I need to blast them. If I blast them, I think they go away. I can just pretend that I'm stupid. Get a hit regardless. I'm not gonna commit to her. Let's see how many we get now. Oh wow, that was really good. Damn. Risky move when I hadn't used my blast yet. I think I aimed the blast better now. Dead heart? No, if she had dead heart, she might have needed to use it there. This is a difficult loop to use dead heart on. Because it's so round, you know, you don't have a little straight line to use it on. Great start. No discordances. There must be a lone survivor working single gen somewhere. I want to find it. Well, that's it. Two people here, but they didn't touch the gen. Um. Yeah, well, we know there's someone around. I can't tell if they've 
run very well. Osborne, thank you for the 30 bucks. What the fuck, dude? You got this? Thanks, man. All right, you guys are very encouraging already. I appreciate the, <laughs> the psychological support, though. I'll take the hit. Oh, that was a good sprint burst, 99. All right, we'll remember that you have that in your arsenal. She also plundered a medkit, I'm pretty sure we just saw. No one's coming for you yet, Nancy. Let's find out who's coming from where. Oh, very good. Sorry. I came back because I really expected someone to be there already. I could blast them both, but... I'll take the super fast hook and the super fast pop and go back to that gen. I generally think they only have that gen progress. Maybe another one in distance. But still, that's a couple hooks. Or very little progress for them. You got this, King. Oh, stop it, you guys. And Tosi, think of the three. Yeah, that's Nia. It's alright. We've seen everybody, and I honestly do believe that they don't have another gen started. If they do, good for them. Uh, inner strength Nancy, or use her med- she didn't have a med kit. Oh, I'm so sorry, dude. He's not even bothering? Oh, he was saving a dead heart. I'm okay with that. Don't camp the pallets! What are you doing? What are you doing with your life, Nia? Okay. Uh, quite honestly... Fuck, I'll pick him up. If we get DS, we go for the ship for the other two. And now the other two are not the obsession anymore. Okay, never mind. We go there and we go for Nancy, as opposed to Meg, who's the obsession. And we pop their gen too. Uh, they are in Madness 1, that's Nia up there, maybe in a strength, where is she going to a locker? I don't know. Oh, they made it pretty close. Interesting, she must have dropped. Did someone drop a pallet, dude? Hello? Did this pallet fall by itself? That is Nancy falling down. You can tell by the voice. Good. Now she's stuck if she doesn't run away. <laughs> Literally can't do anything. She got the first vault, but it doesn't matter. Whichever uh, whichever side she ends up after being shocked, you go there and they can't vault the other one anymore. For two and a half seconds, which is plenty for you to go around and tap them. I'll fake this. Good enough. And this search should hit all the gens I've been working on. That are, do you have it? No. Ah, yeah, who's this? See you later. Hi, heck, like, thank you for the sub. Don't celebrate too early, everybody. Sure, seems like it's giving you good value. Yeah, in, the, in maps where there's like close ends that are usually not great because. I'll take the stacks, dude. That are usually not great because of. Uh, she's ready to be- literally all four survivors are right here. Meg right behind me. And these two guys here. Meg, Meg, what are you doing with your life? You are crazy. Oh my god, dude. Even the survivors believe in me. He's not gonna learn from this, is he? Alright, dude. They believe, I think so. That hard. He should have used it. Oh well, it doesn't matter. The pallet's gone. Okay, dude. Where do we even start now? GG. I think I think this is bad for them. Even if one of them had unbreakable, he needs to snap out before he can heal the others. Oh man. And if one of them picked themselves up, I could use my blast now and put them in tier three immediately. Managing tiers, very important, doctor. Luckily, that's not a very mechanical skill. You don't need years and years of practice and muscle memory. Literally, just to learn how to do it. And this bill will do the rest for you, dude. Sorry about that. I don't- I genuinely don't know what they were thinking there. Like, the first person? Okay. She was like, oh, don't tunnel this poor girl. I can understand that. Even though I was just gonna slug her. Oh, she had deliverance. See, that's the problem. Now you can't fucking heal this other girl. No matter where she is. Yeah, yeah, Meg, you... No offense, but I feel like that was a bad idea. Do we hit this? 
barely. When kids are that close, I think that was a, I, I think I was at fault here. But if you ever feel like you should hit something and you miss it very barely, similar to that, uh, suspect that they might have spine chill or resilience or both. If you ever feel like, okay, I've got good muscle memory, I know what my killer feels like, I know that I can hit that very close, but I know I can hit it and you miss, that survivor bolted 6% quicker because you're looking at it with... Um, she ran this way and she probably had thoughts of healing her partner. When she realized she was minus tier 3, she couldn't do it anymore. So her partner should be around here. Right? She will be fine very easily because... Of that, I guess. Uh, Rich T, thank you so much. I have no clue where the other girl is. Well, dude, we'll, we'll wait around. Spirit goes W-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-